Shalom. First and foremost, to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shimei Yahweh, by Shemir God Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God. In his name in Hebrew means he exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is the only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. In his name in Hebrew means he delivers. By Shemir's in the name, the Kodash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone do well. Peace and blessings unto the Shashak and this push forward to the truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, I want to show on to your brothers to keep pushing. And the double shalom on unto the Israelites look like the other nations and the Shashak with I want to say shalom on to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Double Death from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'm coming back at it with another video. And just wanted to hop into this article. And I'm poor precepts and low willingness to be edifying. It says, U.S. teacher inappropriate outfits and booty pics slammed. An art teacher in the U.S. has angered parents over her figure-hugging outfits, with some claiming is too sexy for the classroom. Okay. And, and this the lady right here, a woman, I should say. Okay. And she's from the Northern Kingdom, so-called... I believe so-called Dominican Matt might be Ephraim. Okay, don't quote me on that. But I know she wanted to try, so. And we know that the Israelite woman start off with the so-called black woman on down to the so-called Mexican woman. They all completely, totally out of order. And I, I know it seems repetitive that we keep going over this, but hey, it has to be brought out because the Lord is about to get ready and come back. And a lot of you women is out there that is not in order. You're going to suffer the most. Okay? Because right now, you're being pampered. And um, getting told you can do no wrong. And getting told that everything is all the Israelite man's fault. And you so damn innocent. And according to the scriptures, that's far from the truth. Okay? But, so that's how she dressed now in front of uh, kindergartens. Okay? And this is her Instagram right here. And see, so yeah, kind and she taking pictures with little boys and stuff, and which we already know. And plus, she got a BBL. Okay, if you didn't notice that, her but it's fake, and that's the thing amongst um, the women of our nation getting these BBLs because they want to get all this attention from this man. Okay. So, but you know, but then when you uh, tell a woman, yeah, you just want you just want attention, then they then they just flat out deny it. Then what's the point of getting the BBL then? Why? Because you can get attention from men. Okay, that what goes on through your mind, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have all these niggas on me. Okay, that's the whole reason why they dress like that, because they're trying to seek validation and attention. But anyway, let's keep reading. It says, a primary school teacher has been blasted for wearing inappropriate outfits to work with some outraged parents describing her as desperate and attention-seeking. Yes, yeah, and she really is. The U.S. teacher who has not been disclosed her full name has clocked up to 870,000 followers on Instagram where she shares photos of her figure-hugging and symbols often taken in her classroom. In some snaps, snaps, the brunette can be seen posing against a whiteboard and other images her students are, are visible inside the classroom, although their faces are not identified. Many have praised the body-confident educator for her fashion prowess, but some parents on social media say she should not be wearing such outfits around minors. And yeah, because the scriptures talk about a woman should be dressed in modest apparel. And that's just not around minors, period. That should just be... That should be around people, period. All right? In public. Around our home. Okay? And especially while she with her man. Only time these provocative outfits are acceptable, you know, is if it's just her and that man. You know? Like a woman can dress sexy for you, which there's nothing wrong with that. But while you out in public... You shouldn't be advertising yourself. That's pretty much all it is, is an advertisement. Okay, and that's her right there. You know, with the little with the little waist. So you know she done had surgery and all that. 
says uh, a teacher in the U.S. has been slammed for her inappropriate outfit. So this picture right here in her Instagram down at the bottom. You're in a classroom taking Instagram pictures with your ass out, showing pictures in a class with your butt in the air. It's very inappropriate when raining. That photo just looks crazy. It makes you desperate for likes and other range. A third blast, you're sad, taking booty pics during class. However, the teacher has hit back during a live 14-minute video defending her Instagram images. I have seen some men say some crazy mean stuff, but I teach babies and there are no haters in the classroom thinking of that. Like, of course, because they children, okay? And they just pretty much enjoying the view, all right? And that's another thing that's contrary to popular belief. A lot of you Israelite women are pedophiles, okay? Like, I'm talking about actual legit pedophiles, not R. Kelly, because when you come into the knowledge of the truth, you know that a woman, according to our ancient customs, according to the scriptures, that... A young woman, a virgin, a damsel, whatever you want to call her, a maid, she was given in marriage at an early age, around like 14, 15, 16, 17, or whenever her father feels fit that she's ready to be given off into marriage, okay? But a lot of these women now, because you know this woman, I mean, yeah, she probably got a lot of few thirsty simps that's telling her, yeah, she look good and she's so pretty and yada, 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 well, she's not a bad looking woman. But at the same time, uh, she trying to she trying to get like a certain type of man with a certain type of followers and like as Kevin Samuels would say, a high value male. But I, I got a news flash for you for you women, man. The only high value man on the planet are the men of the Lord. Okay? And the Lord just haven't raised us up yet, but he will. Alright? And it's gonna be up to us if we like your high asses or not. Because, hey, the Lord is going to flip the whole script on you women. And you women, you're not going to be ready. Okay? But, yeah. She just getting attention and thinking that she the ish. And you, you know she ain't going to settle. I like uh, a lot of these um, little nigga women and Hispanic women that's on these different platforms that are trying to go against the manosphere and all that. The so-called manosphere or against the grain. Like they hate Andrew Tate, they hate Andrew, uh, Kevin Samuels. Okay, they're telling these women, yeah, use man for his money, do this, and yada, yada, yada. They're just to combat the truth, all right? Because you feel like you're being attacked. And you women, it's not the fact that we're attacking you, it's just the fact that we're putting you in your place. And these women, they don't want to get put in their place. They want to be above you. They don't want equal rights. They want, they want, to, they want you to be subservient, okay? And that's a destructive behavior. It says, I am really, really a good teacher. She continued. I had students emailing me during the summer, asking me for homework. They love art. I love teaching art. I love working with children to create art. Viewers showered praise on the educator, applauding her passion for her job and reminding her that haters gonna hate. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, Slay Queen. Okay. And, man, you, it's pretty much all... Majority of it is black women that's uh, supporting that nonsense. Okay? Because, man, and you women, and I don't know what I'm entitled to this year, but, man, you women, you, you, you about to get a rude awakening. Okay? You know, th thinking that you can do this and thinking that this is okay. This is not okay. It's not okay. And she wearing pants and here, which she shouldn't be wearing pants. You know? And look at that. Look at that. That's not even real. They're trying to fire her because she's too sexy. No, they're not trying to fire her because she's too sexy. Her real name, Joseph Antonio Cartagena, said in the YouTube video, which, um, which, uh, hey, you a simp. You sound like a damn uh, Ephraimite nigga. So you a damn simp who said that she's too be beautiful. She's too courageous. I mean, not courageous, uh, curvaceous. Okay. But anyway, man, let's hop into some scriptures, man. Let's go ahead and cut this. So 1 Timothy 2 and 9, in like manner also that women, talking about the Israelite women, adorn themselves in modest apparel, with same faithfulness and sobriety, now it bordered her gold apparel as a costly array. All right? So uh, shame facing it. 
Shame facing it means to be mindful of what you earn. Okay? It's to be aware. So you ain't supposed to be buying all these um, top name brand clothes and all that. And which is just pretty much is all vanity. Okay? Because you got Eve talking about buying Birkin bags and all the other bullshit. Uh, Dolce, Gabbana, Gucci, Louis. Okay? And it doesn't mean anything. It's all vanity. It's just name brand stuff to say that, yeah, I got it. All right? The whole purpose of a purse is to carry your belongings in there. The whole purpose of a car is to get from A to B. But you can't tell our women that because they just think, you know, everything is luxury. All right? And they f forget the whole purpose of that car. Verse 10. But which becoming women professing godliness and good works. Let the woman learn the silence without subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to serve authority over the man, but to be in silence. Right? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression, right? So you was in a transgression. Okay? And uh, you brought that to Adam. Okay? And he uh, failed to try to what? Please you. And that's um, where we got today. So you got this wicked society today, what we living in, you know, uh, GMO foods and GMO women, genetically modified women. Because if you get a BBL, you are genetically modified, okay? Because your butt is not that big, all right? Your waist ain't that small. Your breast is not naturally that big, okay? And, you know, and we ain't knocking a courageous woman because Jake loves curvy women. But it's just the fact of covering it up because it's all about an order. And ain't nobody hating on the Israelite woman's beauty because she is the most beautiful woman in, on the planet. But it's an order. Okay? It says, Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, and they continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety. Right. So that's how a woman is going to be saved. Going to be saved in childbearing. Okay? Because the uh, majority of people that you see and that's going to die over here. And more than half of them is women. Okay. They're going to die. All right. They're going to die horrific deaths. Because you just, you just not getting the warning. And the Lord, he got his prophets out here to warn you about the things that's about to get ready to happen. But you're not taking heed to it. Hey, but that's your fault. Because you're not going to have a cloak for your uh, sins when he comes. So let's get that real fast. I always get that mixed up. It might be 15 and 18. This is St. John 15 and 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before I hated you. If you are of the world, the world will love his own. But because you're not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Right, and that's the men of the Lord. Because this word that we preaching is not politically correct. Okay, so the majority of the people of the world, they're emotional. And they want to... Be comfortable in their wickedness, but not. Nah, that's not the way how you're supposed to conduct yourself. Because everything the Lord says, hey, it's a benefit to it. All right? Let's keep reading. Remember that the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. Because they know not him that sent me. Right. And all you people that's claiming this know how much me I shot. And even then, like with this woman right, right here, 
Because if you was to ask, um, the, you was to ask these women, like, do you believe in uh, God? They'll say, yeah, I believe in God. Okay? But then they'll turn around and go dress like that. So let's go back to it. Verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Right? So you don't have a cloak for your sin. You can't say, oh, well, I didn't know. If I would have known, I would have turned from my wicked ways. I would have stopped twerking on uh, Instagram and Facebook and social media and all these other different platforms. All right. TikTok. All right. In which we, uh, I saw an article that China finna ban TikTok. Cause that's who made TikTok. All right. He that hated me hated my father also. All right. So if you hate your how was shy, but you got a lot of men that's teaching, you're not supposed to even worship your how was shy. You hate the father also. Okay. But I don't think nobody died for me on my, for my sins or none of that. All right. That's wickedness. Ecclesiastes 30, 26 and 22. A harlot should be counted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. All right, so a harlot should be counted as spit. Okay. And yeah, this is a good looking woman, but hey, she don't have no value. All right. She has no value at all. It's all, it's all vanity. It's, I don't even think this is her. It might be her. I don't know. Because, man, you, you women with y'all faces, man. Y'all just change every single time. It's like you for the wind blowing. But a lot of times I can't even recognize you. Because you got so much makeup caked on your face. It's like you got different faces. You look different in some of your pictures. It says, uh. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fear of the Lord. A dishonest woman can tim and shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. Right. A shameless woman should be counted as a dog, but she does the shame face for fear of the Lord. A woman that honors her husband shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonored him in her pride should be counted ungodly at all. Which we know a woman like this don't have a husband. Okay, her job is her husband. You know? And so now, so now she got to get her validation and, get, and she got to get told that she pretty. Man, enough of this bitch. And now she got to get told that she pretty through her, uh, through her Instagram followers and through the, um, the, the, little, the little boys that's in her the little boys is in her classrooms, looking at her and staring at her, looking at her butt and stuff. Okay? Because hey, these, these women know what a man is checking them out. Even if it's just like a little slight glance. They they, they know. Okay? And she, and she know what she's doing, man. This woman needs to be thrown in jail. But let that would have been a, um, a man. Oh, yeah, lock him up. Throw away the key. Know, make a whole documentary talk uh surviving R. Kelly. Okay? So yeah, you yours like woman, you, you getting exposed. And your lead with the Satan. The Satan. Your lead with the serpent is almost up. Okay. It says, 
the rock 25 and 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Right, so all wickedness. So think about all the wickedness that you see on the planet Earth as a Israelite man. Even as an Israelite woman is in the truth. Okay? And you Israelite women that's out there that's tuning into my video, you know what the hell I'm talking about. And even then, some of y'all even probably live that horse lifestyle. But hey, it's cool. All right? If you in the truth, you claiming to do right, then keep doing right. I'm not talking to you then. But you already know because you've been on that side. And if you haven't been all the way completely in, you know, to like total wickedness like the majority of our women are in, Guess what? You had a friend. You got sisters. Maybe you even had a mother. Okay? Or or an auntie that's been in this type of whoredom like that. And you know women that might support her, too, as I speak. All right? And so you know this is off. You ain't supposed to do this. Okay? And this is um, and this is wrong, because a woman shouldn't be parading herself like this. She she should be at home cooking a meal. Because the scriptures talk about men getting the order. How much more so you women? That's the weaker vessel. Titus two and three. The aged woman likewise that to be in behavior. Has become a holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine. Teaches the good things. They may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Okay? And so what is she teaching? Because you know it's uh, children that's in her class. When I say children, I mean men, you know, young boys and young girls. And so the young girls is looking at her like, yeah, I want to be like that when I grow up. And so she basically sending a slut message. To these young girls saying, yeah, be like me. Okay? And that's not true. You, a woman shouldn't be like that. It says that they may teach the young woman to love, to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste. And chaste means to abstain from sexual activity. And these young girls nowadays, they, um, before they even hit puberty, they engaged in these sexual acts. All right. They got smartphones. So guess what? They introduced to the pornography. Because, um, and even then, like your child got an iPhone and you got the parental, I guess, um, locks on the phone where they can't go to certain websites. They got the websites blocked off. How many parents are doing that in America? Probably none. All right. Even in like the men of the Lord, like, you should be doing that. You know, I don't have children. And I'm not trying to like tell our brothers what to do with their children. But I'm saying like if I would, if I did have children, especially daughters, hell yeah. What's on your phone? Let me see your phone. I know the password to your phone and all that. Matter of fact, you probably wouldn't even have a damn phone. It said that the uh, obedient to their own. Husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Okay? Because you women, you out there, you embarrassing our nation. When you're doing this stuff, you're embarrassing us. You're making us look bad. You're making the men of our nation look bad. So, Because you women are a reflection of us. Okay? you exposed. In all forms of fashion. Isaiah 3 Thank you I'm Trying to find it So uh Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover, the Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, 
walking and missing as they go, making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with the scab, the crown of the head of the daughter of Zion. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. All right, so their secret parts. Okay, them secret parts is what? Your breast, your butt. Okay, your, uh, your box. All right, that's pretty much all out in the open. For everybody to see. And especially the Southern Kingdom woman, who is um, pretty much bald. All right, she don't got no damn hair. Putting other people hair on her damn head. Okay. Verse 24. And it shall come to pass, and instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well said, her baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girdle, a sackcloth. And burning instead of beauty. Thy man shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty man in war. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, and that's pretty much the Israelite woman in the hole. You know, you stink. And don't be surprised. They even though a woman like that, like, yeah, she pretty, and yada, yada, yada. Um, I guarantee you her box smells, especially, like, wearing all these tight clothes. Okay. Like clothes like that, that show off uh, her shape. All right, you know it got an odor. Okay, but now you women, you should be doing stuff like that. And when these troops come over, here, man, they not gonna give a damn. Okay, if you look good, they gonna take turns on you. All right. They're not gonna care if you got a man. They're gonna, uh, they gonna take his ass out in the front yard, and they might even just shoot the nigga in the bedroom with you. Right, they gonna take his ass in the front yard and blow his brains out. Hey, shit, rape you and rape your children. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, it's gonna be a field day for all these um, martial law troops. All right, be like the purge out here. So that's all I had on that, and I want to say shalom.